Well, perhaps things will get cleared up soon enough and we can step out and smell the flowers. But as it stands now, I'm here entering into the third week without PSN. Now, to be honest, I don't even play online that much anymore. Either on PS3, which I have, I have a PS3, all right? And I also have an Xbox 360, okay? I lost faith in the online gaming community a long time ago. Too many assholes out there. Anyway, I was reading the letter from Howard Stringer that he put out on the 5th of May. And this is up on the PlayStation blog, all right? On the official PlayStation site. And they've gonna you know come up with this welcome back program this is the welcome back cap uh, package to kind of compensate us for the almost going on three weeks of having no PSN that's that's the minor part the real part the real issue is that all of our information or a lot of us a lot of our information has been compromised our credit card numbers and whatnot but this is what they're going to give us, okay? The welcome back package to our customers. Once our PlayStation Network and Curiosity, whatever that thing is, some fake iTunes download music thing, services are up and running. This will include, among other benefits, a month of free PlayStation Plus membership for all PSN customers. Yay! Wow, man. I've always wanted PSN Plus. Get those down, you know, those demos and those betas first. Wow, yeah. And get, you know, some discounts off of uh, some shitty arcade games. As well as an extension of subscribers for PlayStation Plus and Music Unlimited customers for makeup for time lost. Wow, unbelievable. So they're going to give us a free month of PlayStation Plus. So they're going to get us in, hook us in on that. And then once that runs out, I guess they're hoping that maybe they're going to hook in some new customers, right? So we're going to keep it. We're going to want to we're going to want to stay in. We're going to keep wanting PSN Plus. <gasps> I don't think so. I have no interest in it. This doesn't matter to me, PlayStation Plus, or else I would already have it and from what I understand, it's shit. Okay. Back to the task at hand. And they're also going to provide us with for the U.S. PlayStation Network, which I don't, you know, understand why it wouldn't be for all PlayStation members all over the world. I don't know why they're having this Amero-centric view that only U.S. PlayStation players need to be covered with the 1 million identity theft insurance policy per user was launched earlier today. And announcements for other regions will be coming soon. Well, hopefully the other regions are going to get it. I mean... You owe that to them, too, Sony, not just to the Americans. And I am an American, by the way. It's just unreal. It really is unreal. It stinks the way that Sony has handled this. It's just a, a debacle of PR. They really blew it. Really, really blew it hard. I mean, they should have been upfront and honest right away. Um, and not have waited about four days to really let the public know why they had shut down the PSN, what was really going on. They should have just been up front. They should have diffused the situation. And this is where the issue is. I know some believe we should have notified our customers earlier than we did. It's a fair question. As soon as we discovered the potential scope of the intrusion, we shut down the PlayStation Network and Curiosity Service, yeah, like I care about that, and hired some of the best technical experts in the field to determine what happened. I wish we could have gotten the answers we needed sooner, but forensic analysis is a complex, time-consuming process. Hackers, after all, do their best to cover their tracks, and it took some time for our experts to find those tracks and begin to identify what per personal information had or had not been taken. Well, no shit, Sony. Why didn't you just tell us right away? Why didn't you tell us right away what was going on? So the day that it was shut down, you could have said, Hey, PSN players, 
call up your credit card companies and cancel your card because your information may have been stolen. Don't you have a responsibility, Sony, to do that at the least? At the least. And now Sony's being sued, a one billion class action lawsuit out of Canada. I believe another one too is originated out of California. Rightfully so. Good, defend yourself, Sony. We want answers. You're not gonna get off on this one lightly. You don't deserve to. This is the issue. You should have had the network security in place. Now, for those of you that are saying, well, it's not Sony's fault, it's the hackers. The hackers did it. Well, no kidding. Don't you think that these companies know that there's hackers out there and that they need to have the very best? The very best, at the least, in protection to prevent intrusions? Microsoft has never gotten their information compromised in this way. Now I know that their system may have gone down a couple years ago for a week and a half, two weeks. Along with it didn't become the potential threat of all our information being taken. Jesus Christ. I mean really Sony. You really fucked up. Unreal. And this is the part of the letter when we get down to here that really bothers me and I, and I really take exception to this and this asshole stringer should have a talking to from somebody from, to uh, the, you know the shareholders or whatnot. He likens what has happened to Sony here on this security breach to the fucking tsunami. You know, I guess so that we have like a pity party on Sony. Like that we should like take it easy on Sony because of a natural disaster that has occurred and that has affected the people of Japan, okay? I'm more concerned about how it's affected the people of Japan rather than this billion dollar corporation. And he's really trying to, you know, make us uh, jerk some tears about that. He, he says, in the last few months, Sony has faced a terrible earthquake and tsunami in Japan, but now we are facing a very man-made event, a criminal attack on us and you, and we are working with the FBI and other law enforcement agencies around the world to apprehend those responsible. Buddy, Mr. Stringer, you have no right to even, ins you know, bring up the tsunami and compare the, the tsunami to this, to, to your negligence, okay? A tsunami cannot be controlled. A tsunami just happens. You guys were negligent. You didn't prepare. You didn't have the best in safety. You didn't safeguard our information to the best of your abilities, and this is what happens. And Sony, you reap what you sow. And I don't know what's going to happen to you guys. I'm almost thinking that it is game over. Game over for you guys. I think that, really, how can you even trust anything that you guys say? You keep saying that um, Sony and final testing for PSN return. I don't even believe that because for the last two, two and a half weeks, you've just been stringing us all, all along. Oh, it's going to be back. You know, remember when it originally came down? Oh, just expect like a one or two day delay. And then after that, it was, oh, you know, maybe it'll be back in like five days. And oh, maybe in, in a week. You know, we just don't really know. You don't know, Sony. That's why. You don't know when you're going to get your network back up because I think that this is such a big shit storm that you can't even admit it fully. You fucked up. Done. Now I'm glad that I have another console that if I want to go online and play, I can play it. And that's the benefit of not being a fanboy. That's the benefit of being, as what Big Tune 182 says, what up Big Tune, of being a hybrid gamer. I'm Switzerland in the fanboy war. I'm neutral. Because it's ridiculous. Okay? It's a company. And don't sweat a company ever. Because they don't fucking sweat you. They will never sweat you. All they sweat is the fucking money in your wallet. And they don't give a shit about you as Sony has fucking shown here. They didn't give a shit. Okay? They didn't want to tell you right away what had happened because they were thought they were going to lose money if they did. But in actuality, by not revealing the information right away, I think it's going to cost them tenfold in the end than had they gotten ahead of the ball and just admitted, admitted outright what happened. 
You done fucked up, Sony. And your whole PR department should be fired. Maybe even Stringer should be fired. Because if I was a shareholder, I don't have confidence in you, man. I don't know what ship you're running, but right now the PS3 is the x von Valdez. And its belly is ripped wide open right now. And it's all leaking out. It's all leaking out. Check yourself, Sony. Oh. <sighs>